This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location from ITW 2018 in the windy city of Chicago, Illinois. And I am here with my new friend, Mr. Andrew Kwok. Andrew is the CEO of HGC. Andrew, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks, Dean. So it's a pleasure. So this is the second time that I got the interview from JSA. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, you take a look at the YouTube. I don't know uh, how, what magic you have done. So a lot, <laughs> a of, lot of magic, <laughs> a, lo a lot of uh, a lot of hits, uh, including our company. Yeah. So friends with that. So uh, yeah, lovely uh, Chicago, windy, <laughs> but unluckily, <laughs> unluckily, uh, I didn't feel it because uh, 24 hours I'm inside the building and have uh, yes. meetings. Yeah, so, lots of meetings for you, yes, right, Andrew? Right. Especially uh, this year is our new HEC mm -hmm. uh, joining for the ITW. Mm -hmm. So we've been here for. GTM, IDW, that uh, for 15, 16 years already. Yeah. Uh, this year is after the new HGC formal transaction on the 3rd of October last year. Mm -hmm. So in the portfolio of I Square Capital. So this has given us a lot of uh, new ammunition and also a lot of row to cover in the future. Absolutely, absolutely. But um, we're here to talk about a bit about digital transformation, um, specifically, you know, what digital transformation means to telcos. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Okay. Yeah, thanks for the question. Yeah. I think uh, there's a lot of digital transformation panel discussion as they and all this. So I joined some of them, but eventually I want to make it uh, simple. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not because it is boring because basically it is simple. Yeah. Okay. So what does uh, digital transformation means to a telco is that if we all believe that the human is already stepping in the fourth industrial revolution, that means globalization, personalization, and also fragmentation. If we believe that, this will all change our lifestyle and digital transformation to a telco is life or death, simple as that. Fascinating. No, I mean, it does sound simple, and yet it doesn't sound easy either, does it? Um, but let's talk a, a little bit about what has to happen for that kind of um, uh, truly impactful change to take place. So yes, Dean, uh, is uh, absolutely a very good question. So we all know what, but how mm -hmm. is a very important question. Uh, if I would, I would try to make it simple as possible. Uh, three different areas. The first one. I think the practice of the telco. So for the practice, that means your telco mentality, the way of you conducting your business, the way you strike the business model, and the money, no matter it is a capex or opex, that you're going to put in your business. So this will change. Mm -hmm. That means, in a nutshell, I call it practice, but however, it is pretty complicated. Uh, it is how you place your focus in the future for your growth. Second, People, of course. So, I love that. <laughs> I do. People, uh, we are telco people. They said the people said that uh, you guys are traditional, especially some of the OTT. Yeah? Mm -hmm. They said that you are old fashioned, so you should go back to the farm, uh, take up some ground with your grandfather or grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> but having said that, having said that, we already got 90 OTT on top of our network and services. Mm -hmm. 90, some are big names, some are smaller names. Yeah. They're all important. So how to capture this kind of revenue, how to capture this kind of business opportunity, it depends on the people. So you have two choices. One, go back to the farm. Another one, join the venture equip yourself, have new thinking, pick up your new capability and all this. So as such, in this year, February, uh, in the past six months of time, for the new company, we did a lot of things uh, I, I, I observe, okay? Maybe <laughs> some people are saying that we are not fast enough, I think it's pretty fast. Transforming all the, transferring all the people to us, build up the new office, secure all the contract that we have, we didn't lose any one of those expansion fans, fans yeah. for that. But having said that, coming back to your question, one of the very important items talking about the people is that uh, in February, we established a formal digital office, mm -hmm. led by a external chief digital officer joining us. And together, I put in at this moment 70 people, only were on this uh, uh, office. 
And this is a way for us to systematically and then formally lead the whole company into a digital path. That is fantastic. Thanks, thanks yeah. for that. So second is the people. Last, uh, the business model. So if we follow the traditional telco business model, of course, it's stable, it's sustainable, but it is not sexy enough. Or it, it is not true. <laughs> it is not uh, a blast enough. Okay. That's right. So, and then maybe some people are saying that why you need um, a big changes or whatsoever. But if you are going back to my argument in the beginning, uh, we're in the fourth industrial revolution. All the lifestyle will change. So, for example, uh, I don't know how you call your girlfriends. So, <laughs> WhatsApp. <laughs> WeChat, Line, It whatsoever. depends on which one. I'll use Snapchat for one, <laughs> yes. Instagram for another. You know how it is. Yes. No, so, it's not like that. are you going to use IDD? Are you going to use WhatsApp or WeChat and all this kind of stuff? Uh, but by the way, for WeChat, they have a new function of group conference. Mm -hmm. Make sure your wife is not on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, business model. How you can get your revenue from where? Mm -hmm. And then, eventually... Is it sustainable? What is the future path? We all need to define it. Of course, in day one, while we are in infrastructure operator, 70% is a must coming out from our invested infrastructure, monetize it, sustainable, sticky, and all this. But the remaining 30%, you have to match with the whole world development mm -hmm. in the new digital lifestyle. In the new digital lifestyle, uh, I try to name a few. Uh, you use SDN, Software Defined mm -hmm. Network, and uh, as a foundation. But having said that, on top of this, there are some new development in your company that for the big data analysis, a lot of information flowing into our company in which travel agents or even the, the Department of Transportation, mm -hmm. all this they wanted. If it is uh, 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 integrated and presented in a usable way, this are revenue uh, stream. Yeah. Um, outstanding. I feel like we could be talking for, for hours, and maybe we will talk for another hour. I don't know. But um, uh, just moving on, you know, I'm looking at my next question, sure. and, and I don't know that, I'm, that, I, that it's written right. Because um, based on everything that you've said to this point, um, I was going to ask a question about timeline, digital, okay. the timeline around digital transformation. But I think the question really should be, should there be a timeline around digital transformation? Dean, you're, you're, you're absolutely correct. So this is what my investor also asked me. So of course... I'm not an investor, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be invested in. <laughs> so uh, timeline. Yeah. So yeah, I agree with you, low timeline. Unless uh, there's another fifth industrial revolution, mm -hmm. this will change all this, then we may need to change drastically. But timeline, absolutely, there's no timeline. Uh, I have to... I have to uh, one of the reputation of HGC is that uh, we don't tell lies. We tell the truth, may not be the whole truth, but no lies. <laughs> <laughs> well, partial truths are good too, yes. right, Andrew? <laughs> so I can tell you uh, that uh, we are in the beginning stage. A lot of companies have said that oh, we are already in the digital path and all this. Uh, okay, with all the respect, but in the telco, basically, uh, my humble opinion is that all of us are in the beginning stage. Mm -hmm. If we want to match with the OTT, uh, we are even in the infant stage. So... I do see this as changing. The interaction between the telco and also the OTT, the service provider and all this, it has become more and more healthy. Uh, so while we have the muscle of a natural infrastructure and all this, and now we have become digital, mm -hmm. I think we will be more better fit into the new evolution along the line with the OTT and service provider. Mm -hmm. But to answer your question, we are only at the beginning stage. We're going to end there. I, I, I do feel like we could talk. You want to join our company? <laughs> I do. I do. No, no offense, Jamie. Jamie, where are you? <laughs> no, it, it, it's been, Andrew, really a My pleasure, pleasure uh, talking with My you pleasure. today. We, thank My you pleasure. for being with us today. Thanks a lot. You, you bet. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.